So glad you're here, and uh, this would be our, our normal offering time. We're going to have that in just a few minutes, but before we do that, as you know, we love to celebrate people and what God's doing in people, and today, it's my honor to celebrate a couple that's stepping out in faith, doing something momentous and exciting in their life, just just giving life back to Jesus, say, what, come what may, and we love to celebrate that because it encourages us of how big God is, that he's got a plan and a purpose for every one of us, right? How many is that? Every one of us. God loves every one of you and has something in store for you, so we want to celebrate a couple this morning of saying, God, we're ready to just give it all. We're just ready to run forward in faith, and I'm going to call them out. You all know them, but I'm going to bring them out, and that's Josh and Megan Toro. Josh and Megan, they've got family here. Come on, any family members get out here too? Come on out here, beautiful family, because if it weren't for family, where would we be, right? Supporting us, loving us, and uh, we got sister here too, and boy, this is the Toros, the Toro family, amen, and so yeah, give it up for them. I'll mention this in a moment, but so many have been touched by this family and their service to the Lord Jesus in many different ways. But I'm going to make a big announcement. Before I do, I just want to to say, uh, first of all, Josh and Megan were on board with Life Coast day number one. They were with us from day one on the launch team in the movie theater, cleaning up bugs off the carpet so little kids can go uh, play there and and, and all through the years, if I, if I mentioned all the ministries they were, have been involved in uh, through our 11 years here, we'd be here till noon, right? And they've just been so uh, dynamically involved with Life Coast and the victories at Life Coast and seen so many wins and some of the hard stuff in ministry, amen, And because, uh, you know, we love all, all the types of ministries, hard stuff, great stuff. And it's just a pleasure watching you serving the Lord over these years. And about seven or so years ago, Josh and Megan uh, just felt in their hearts like it might have been time to plant a church. So Josh went, Josh and Megan went with Holly and I to one of our assessment centers for church planners. And, and they loved Josh up there and Megan and their energy and, and uh, came back. And I remember one day Josh was calling me from Daytona and he was looking for a place to plant a church. And something was stirring in my heart. And, and I was just praying it might be stern in his heart too because I just, something was unsettled. I didn't know what God was doing. And a week later, Josh came to me and said, God's not giving, letting Palm Coast go in my heart because I grew up here and there's so much hurt and so much uh, need of healing here. And I'm wondering if I'm not supposed to stay here and, and minister among the hurting and the, and, the, and the hopeless here in this city. And I said, Josh, that's what God's been doing in my heart too, is you're gonna be sent off to plant a church, but there's still so many hurting here. And so it was over the next few months that, that God really solidified to take a step forward and start a Celebrate Recovery program right here in Palm Coast. And has it, what has it been, six, seven? Five years in November, they've been doing a Friday night Celebrate Recovery program with an incredible team, each in season and out of season, just, just going forward for those who are just ha- have hurts and so have habits. Some of them just have just been hurt in life and don't, don't have the tools necessary to move forward in life and, and don't always fit in church. We're all the perfect people, right? Our, we're all the perfect people on Sunday morning, right? No, we're not. But uh, there's so many people that think, I can't do that Sunday thing, and Josh and Megan and their family came in and says, we want, to, we want to start a campus that's a safe place for these people to go to and they can get ministered to and find healing and start becoming uh, just uh, important in the body of Christ and serving in the body of Christ. And uh, before we move forward, Josh, just share, take about 30 seconds, 60 seconds and share some great wins over the last five years, whether it's people coming through, graduating, you should share with yeah, us. So uh, over the last couple of years, is this on? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Last couple of years, I can't believe November will be five years for us at CR. Um, Hundreds of people have gone through the step study program, uh, which is a a weekly thing that you do with all the meat and potatoes of what Celebrate Recovery is. But Friday was funny because I had somebody come, one of my team members. There we go. One of my team members came to me and they said, hey, I, I work at a printer shop and I just wanted to share this with you. And they brought me a list of all the recovery programs going on in the community weekly. And this thing was a full page and a half of recovery programs that were going on in Flagler County weekly. We were the only Celebrate Recovery campus uh, in the county. And so whether it's 30 minutes north of us or 30 minutes south, we are the only one 
that have a flag for Christ here. There's other churches that are doing great things, but as far as recovery goes, um, man, we are partnering with families. Uh, you know, and we don't realize that it's a spider web effect. So one person steps out to get help and healing, and you don't realize that you're touching your families, your employers, your employees, um, your sons and your daughters, your children and your wives. And so everybody is affected, and we're seeing this weekly um, through the program, through the Friday night big family celebration. People are coming. It's getting into uh, it's getting into transitional living homes here in Flagler. Um, we even have a group of women that come now from Project Warm every Friday with struggling women that are trying to reintegrate back into society and get clean from drugs, especially those that have little children. And so big things are happening in the in the community, and uh, we're not going anywhere, man. This this is our town. Hey, so I just want to share as a pastor, uh, when we put this together, we didn't want it to be Life Coast Celebrate Recovery. We want it to be kingdom-minded with many churches involved because if you know anything about this kind of ministry, you need all hands on deck. It's, it's just tiring. It's not for the weak and weary, right? So we brought other pastors together, and what I've loved to watch Josh do is connect with other pastors, and in his team, he's got people from many different churches. Over the last five years, there have been many different churches, and they're ministering to people from many different churches, if they go to church, who have come in. And over the last year, I've had conversations with pastors who have said, thank you for Celebrate Recovery. Thank you for, to Pastor Josh and his family, because we have some people that have come back and plugged into ministry. We have people in our worship ministry, in our kids ministry, that would have never been there five years ago. And so we're watching a movement happen here. It's not a glamorous ministry. It's behind the scenes. You don't get a lot of pictures up here because it's, it's hurting people, right? Uh, but, but a lot of times these are lost ministries, but I just want to celebrate what you guys have done, not just through Life Coast, but in many churches and in this community with business people and all those who have come through. And I just want to give it up for the, the tireless effort you guys have put over the last five years. Come on, give them a hand. Incredible work. There's probably been a few uh, I want to quit moments, right? Probably been a few of those because, you know, if you're in real ministry, there's some going to be some moments. Um, but no matter what uh, has happened to Celebrate Recovery, ups, downs, they've always forged ahead. They've always pulled more people around them and always submitted to great authority to speak into their lives and guide them well. And so that's what I love about these guys. And, and beyond that, Josh, since I've known him, has always had a heart to do pastoral counseling with people who just need some a uh, little bit of help in life and, and get some direction. And, and so he pursued his uh, education education and, and graduated and uh, then got certifications and now uh, over the last five years he's been doing pastoral counseling and most of the time almost all the time it's been at night right when family and Megan's there like oh my goodness here yeah. but there that tells you the heart uh, for hurting people and wanting to guide them well. And so Josh, along with uh, Tracy uh, here, which we'll talk about at another time, but we started Clarity Counseling almost two years ago. And so that we could reach out even more into the community one-on-one -on -one with people who are hurting and just, just need a place to go uh, to find some guidance in life and maybe find some tools for life. And so Clarity Counseling started a few years ago. And there's been some long nights helping hurting people uh, through Clarity Counseling. So we'll talk more about Clarity later, but um, what I wanted to do this morning is to go ahead and announce that uh, Josh came, uh, well, we've been talking about it for maybe a year or two, but a couple months back and said, I think I'm ready. And we said, ready for what? Josh says, God is calling me to do this full time, which means I've got to give up my, my I'm going to say comfortable job because you were outdoors all day long in Florida, but my secure job and put this thing on the line of faith and say, God, I'm going to trust my family, my finances, my life to you and do this full-time ministry. And so over the last two months, we've been putting together what that might look like and, and solidifying that with other pastors and peers. And, and, and I'm telling you 110% that God is calling this family into full-time ministry, working with Celebrate Recovery and multiplying the campuses in other counties because they don't have them either and to start doing counseling full-time uh, to help the hurting people of Palm Coast. So starting next Thursday will be his last day of work, yeah. Yeah. and he's stepping. Yeah. How many know you're, it's, it's, when you're only five days away, it's like, oh, you know, nerd, he's probably shaking a little down here. But five days away to incredible faith-filled life, and that's what this family is choosing to do. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that awesome to know? 
That is, that's just awesome to me. stand up too long because he might, you know, get a big head. No, I'm teasing. That's who we are as family to support one another. But I got to tell you that when a family decides to forsake the comfort to give it up for Jesus and just say, God, just take care of us because we're, we're answering our call. You don't see that much in this life. You don't see it much. And when you see it, when you see it, you want to model it for your church family because God's calling every one of you to in some way to work for him in the kingdom. And so I wanted you today to see over the last 11 years, I've worked with this family, loved on this family, watched God stretch and grow this family right to this day. Well, Thursday will be the day where they're saying, yes, Lord, here I am, send me. And so I wanted, to, I wanted us all to get behind them because just because they're full of faith doesn't mean there's not some nerves, amen? Because bills are still gonna come. <laughs> Just because you say, here I am, Lord, he says, let me just take all your bills away. But we want to get behind them for two reasons. Number one, they are Life Coast Church. They've been here since day one, loving on your kids. He was our first youth pastor. He's Don't tell been, people they, that. They've been, <laughs> they, they took over nursery for us. They're part of the Young Marys group. They've been in every single ministry at Life Coast. Now God is saying something more. I, I want something more for you. I've got a bigger calling for you. Would you step out despite bills, despite the, the nervousness, the fear? And they've said yes, just like most. Moses and God said to Joshua of old, be strong and courageous. Take your foot and step out. Everything you see I give to you and your family is ministry. And that's what he's saying to you guys today. And I just want to say thank you for saying, here we are, Lord. Send us. Come what may, whatever that looks like. And I want to get behind them. But I also want to say what a pleasure it is because in the last eight weeks I've met with multiple pastors and their churches are getting behind as a missionary and supporting him as well for, for, for a couple months, over the next 12 months. Let me tell you what that, what that says about this family. They're about the city, not their little thing. They're about the city, and other pastors see it. And we need to, we need to pray for them. We need to press in and, and surround them. We need to love on them. And, and a big part of my heart is for this city, and, and, and the need is there. You all are connected to at least one, if not multiple people, who are going through hurts, crisis, pain. They feel isolated. They feel invisible. They don't have any worth. And, and the need in this city is so great for people to step in, press into the very hard stuff of life, and minister to them, and love on them, and care for them over the long haul. And this city is just hurting, and they're praying, and God is saying, I'm going to send somebody. I'm going to send somebody. And this family is stand, standing up saying, we're going in full time, come what may. And I'm hoping it excites you, it encourages you to say, well, where, what about me, God? They're doing it to this level, but maybe I can do it to some level more than I'm doing now because the city needs us, people. Amen? The city needs us to press in and say, where can I help? So I want us all to do one great thing as a family. I want us all to stand up again. We're going to pray over this family. We're going to encourage them. We're going to just pour our love into them so that on the hard moments, the hard days, they're going to remember how much we all love them. Amen? Because we're behind them. And we're going to just pray for great life transformation for years to come. People are going to enter into heaven's gates because of this work, because of how we got behind them and encouraged them. We're going to ask the elders or wives and pastors come up here. We're going to pray over them right now, lay hands on them, commission them to this great work. And we're going to continue to communicate just what God's doing through their efforts so that we can continue to get behind and celebrate them. And lastly, if you want to get involved and, and celebrate recovery, anything like this, you make sure you see Pastor Josh or Megan and say, I'm feeling led today to help out. I don't know how much time I have, but I got something I want to give. 
You make sure you do that. Let's pray. I'll, let's just do this once. Just raise your hand like you're in agreement. Like, I am in agreement, Pastor Mike. Lord, we just thank you for this family, the whole family, the extended family, Lord, who've loved on this, this couple and their beautiful, beautiful kids. We thank you for all the effort, the, the energy, the love they've put into Life Coast Church and people here from youth group to, to setting up on Sundays in the theater to nurseries to, to kids' church, young marrieds, Lord, you've, and, and small group ministries, Lord, and one-on-one -on -one mentoring, Lord. We would not be here without the efforts of this incredible couple. And all these 11 years, you've been molding them and shaping them and stretching them and growing them for this very moment that this family would get behind them, put our arms around them and say, yes, Lord, we agree what you're doing in their lives. We're behind them. Body, soul, mind, and spirit finances, we're gonna get behind them to make sure they can keep doing the work of the hard ministry of hurting people in this city. We've all been called to this city, but they're especially called, and so we're gonna especially thank them, celebrate them, and love on them. We're going to continue to check in on them and see how can we help you, Josh and Megan. How can we, how can we pray for your children, Josh and Megan? How can we get around, around you better? How can, do you need a date night, Lord? You, you know, do you need a vacation? How can we get around you? We're going to keep loving on them, blessing them, and celebrating with them for life transformation. Lord, we thank you for them. They model for us. Even if they're nervous now and got a little bit of fear in them, they model for us that we'll say, we'll do it anyway. If we're called, we'll do it anyway. We'll kick Satan in the teeth and march towards the victory because lives are at stake. We know through their efforts, Palm Coast and Flagler County will be better for your glory. And Lord, I pray now as we lay our hands on them for a special, special anointing of the Holy Spirit. Just like in the Bible, we pray that your spirit rest upon this man, this pastor, his family. Lord, that you give them an immeasurable amount of peace right now, an immeasurable amount of faith, and mostly a measurable amount of comfort knowing that you've got this. You wouldn't call them if you didn't qualify them and if you don't have their lives in your hands. So, Lord, remind them of this day where their entire family got behind them and said, you go. Run the race of faith. We've got you in prayer. We've got you. Lord, I pray now for special anointing in Jesus' precious name. Bring it to them. Amen and amen. Come on, bring it up. Give it up. Come on, give it up. Give it up to these guys.